Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another DeFi tutorial. Uh, today I'll be covering one of the exciting new features that we've recently added to the platform, and that is the DeFi data panel. And this is completely customizable. You can change the categories, you can change the data points within each category, and this allows you to store any relevant data point that's in the DeFi database uh, that you would like to consider when going through charts right here at arm's reach. Uh, so you can see as I go through these stocks, the data points um, refresh and update for each company and you'll find that this is extremely helpful to consider not only the price action but also any data point that you'd wish whether it's tactical minded fundamental minded uh, company info uh, whatever you'd like to uh, refer back to and helps your analysis you can incorporate it in the DFU data panel now in order to access the data panel what you want to do if it's closed is click at this icon right here and you can see that it also goes ahead and closes the data panel if you'd like to focus on the chart or other aspect of the DFU program. Opening it back up, you can also represent um, the data panel in two columns. Uh, so this gives you even more space to add whatever data points you'd like to um, and really uh, spec out uh, new categories, uh, fill them up with data points, whatever helps your process. Personally, I prefer the one column layout and it's scrollable, so even if you add additional categories, uh, you'll be able to quickly find um, all those data points that you've added previously, uh, but some of you may focus more on the two-column layout, especially on the weekends, where you wanna see as much data as possible, and this also is scrollable uh, when you do fill it up. Now, in order to edit your data panel and add any data points that you would like to, uh, the first step is to go ahead and click this icon right here, uh, and you can see that you can X out any data point you wish. You can drag and drop, switch them around. Uh, you can also exit out uh, any category itself. So there'll be a pop-up making sure you wanna do that. And you're able to also rearrange these data panels um, and sections however you would like to. Uh, so as I mentioned, it's fully customizable and you can really tailor this to your process. Now, in order to add a data point to one of these categories or even to create a new category, what you wanna do is use this plus button right here. And let me first go ahead and move this back uh, so it's in order. And let's go ahead and click this button. Uh, this brings out all the data points that exist here in the DFU database. And you can select the category that you'd like to add the data point to by using this drop down menu. And you can also create a new category by clicking here and we'll name this one tutorial. Let's go ahead and save that. And you can see a new category has now been added to your data panel. Let's go ahead and add a few data points to this. So let's go ahead and search for Weinstein uh, stages. Let's go ahead and add that to our data panel. Let's also add the float and also float turnover. And let's also do ATR. And if I can spell here, there we go. Let's do the 2% ATR as well as 10%. And that should be good to go right here. It saves automatically and we can go ahead and um, switch back to the one column and scroll and see this category as well that we just saw. And now it shows the Stan Weinstein stage, the float, float turnover, um, as well as the ATR data points and anything else you might wanna add to your data panel. As you can see, I've kind of got mine organized. So the most important data for my process shows up right here. So as I'm going through charts, I can quickly see and analyze those different data points but definitely go ahead and configure it so it's most helpful for you and how you'd like to trade or invest. And just going through some of the data points that I use, I like to take a look at the market cap, the industry sector, those group ranks, and also like to have uh, that website that I can easily just click and visit if I'd like to learn more about the company and their products. I've also got a technical section, a fundamental section with both sales and earnings growth um, in order and also some ownership where we'll be adding a lot more uh, in-depth metrics that analyze the trend and value of ownership owned by funds, um, hedge funds, institutions, as well as mutual funds and other key players. Uh, so definitely have fun with this. I'm looking forward to seeing all the configurations that people come up with. And uh, let us know if you have any questions or ideas down below. And I'll see you guys in future tutorials. Take care.